हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम अरमुगान एंड यू आर वाचिंग निंजा इराकी दिन आर यूट्यूब चैनल होपफुली यू ऑल डूइंग वेल गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस फॉर यू ऑल आई ट्राई माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट इराकी दिन सो गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे द इंफॉर्मेशन ड्रॉपिंग द जीरोस इन्वॉल्व्स एडजस्टिंग द एक्सचेंज रेट बाय शिफ्टिंग द डेसिमल पॉइंट थ्री प्लेसेस व्हिच नेसेसिटेट्स इंट्रोड्यूसिंग न्यू लोअर डिनोमिनेशन करेंसी नोट्स दैट ओमिट द फिजिकल जीरोस We anticipate a rate that could exceed a 1 to 1 parity as Sadani mentioned that the dinar might become stronger than the dollar. The changes to the currency notes and the exchange rate need to occur simultaneously. Otherwise, the new lower denomination notes would become essentially worthless. While it's not impossible, the timing of such changes could be surprising. There's also talk of an announcement regarding Iraq's accession to the World Trade Organization on the 18th, which is expected to be significant. Preparations for a major public celebration are already underway in the public square, indicating the importance of the event. It seems that Sudani is highlighting the significant role of the World Trade Organization in Iraq's economic reform. His message is that the WTO's involvement will be a game changer, particularly for the float of the dinar, which could lead to substantial inflows of money, manpower, and resources. You're right that the WTO is not responsible for managing currency exchange rates, but their endorsement is still seen as a positive signal for Iraq's economic reforms. Sudani's announcement about a new currency suggests that the current 30 notes might be replaced with new lower denomination notes. This could mean Iraq is moving towards a currency system that reverts to previous denominations and phases out the high value notes. The arrival of the Minister of Trade in Geneva to lead Iraq's negotiation team could indicate significant upcoming discussions and decisions regarding these changes. Regarding Iraq's succession to the World Trade Organization, have you noticed that the 50,000 dinar note now has the three zeros removed? It's quite exciting, isn't it? For those who understand Arabic, you might appreciate this update. The project to remove zeros from the currency is indeed ongoing, as confirmed by the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq. This means that a 1000 dinar note will now be represented by a single dinar in the new currency. Discussions are currently underway in Iraq about the HCL, the WTO and other significant matters. It's shaping up to be a fascinating week for us all. Thank you and take care.